remember, you know, some of which you mentioned. One is the Fatiha, Fatiha al Kitab, meaning the opening of the Kitab. Next is the Ummul Kitab. Ummul Kitab means Um. It is coming from the, the, the origin, you know, like uh, the real essence of the Kitab. And then Surah to Shifa, it is called. Or you know, Surah to Dukya, we can say. And then Surah to Afiyah, again. That for good health, and then Ummul Quran or Ummul Kitab, it came in both names effectively. And then was al Masani, seven oft repeated verses. Yeah, so and then Rasulullah said, said This is Azam Surah, that means the best of the surah or highest of the surah you know like uh, top of the surahs or well, all of these chapters yeah as rasulullah sallam when he was sitting there uh, and you know with the companions and at some point there was a big sound happened in the skies yeah in the heavens and uh, the, the, the companions were asking what's what's happening in this sky. And Rasulullah said uh, that they, Allah SWT has just now opened the door in the sky, in the heavens, for the first time ever. This door was always closed. Okay? This is for the first time this door was opened in the heavens. And there was one single angel waiting there to come down through that door yeah and he's coming down taking two special gifts only for the ummah of rasulullah sallallahu yeah do you know who, which are these two um, one of them is surah fatiha one of them is surah fatiha another is last two verses of Surah Baqarah okay so so you know it is such a such an important Surah definitely you know when we say seven oft repeated yeah why did Allah mention Sabor Masani Masani you know like there is there is a connotation of double, isn't it? Mathna. Mm. Yeah, Mathna Thulatha. So, Sabol Mathani in one uh, translation it is uh, the oft repeated seven verses, right? But if you look at literal meaning of it, Mathani comes from Mathna, isn't it? So, meaning there is something there about double. Yeah? Is it double meaning? No. It's to do with actually the pair. Okay, so in order to have a pair, you need two, two, isn't it? Right? One pairing with the other. So, what is happening here is if you look at just Surah Fatiha, you will see that one verse is, one verse is paired with another verse. I will explain how. Yeah? And it is like, you know, not only just Surah Fatiha is the uh, Fatiha to Kitab, each verse is Fatiha, you know, the, the opening of the next verse. Yeah? Say, when you say, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, all praise is due to the Rabb, the Lord of the worlds. All there is not just only universe, all the worlds, worlds, whether it is world of water or land or air, yeah, whether it is world of the heavens and the earth, yeah, whether it is world of this world and hereafter, whether it is world of animals, it is world of humans, any kind of 
world you can think of. World of unseen, world of seen, yeah? So, so when we talk about heavens, we talk about earth. There is a pair there, isn't it? When we talk about, uh, you know, sky and earth, heavens and hell, no? Everything is kind of pair. Okay. Now, this Rabbul Alameen, if, if you want, you know, um, I'm trying to basically write these, uh, the whole explanation of this, uh, this Surah Fatah each and every bit in detail. Yeah, so Rabbul Alameen, it, it is actually giving us the Rububiyat, the Lordship. What does it mean? So, what is the meaning of Rab? Lord. What is it? Yes. If we want to define it, it doesn't have multiple connotations, so like sustainer, creator, nourisher. Creator, sustainer, nourisher, you know, like a combination yeah. of all these. Yeah, okay, fine. But if he, if someone asks you to define this word in one sentence, how would you say it? What is it? Is it an attribute? No. I mean, you have it. You know, like... It, it is basically, uh, it is the, um, how, how do I say, you know, like, the expression of Allah. Like, this is who He is, yeah. effectively. Why did Allah choose out of so many names, other than Allah? Allah started with Allah, isn't it? Alhamdulillah, right? Allah is the, basically, the main name to call Him. But who is He? He is Rabbul Alami. Before you talk about any of his attributes. Yeah? So, for example, my name is Imran. Right? Who am I? I am a professor at university. Then comes, what do I do as a professor? I teach at the undergraduate. I teach at the uh, postgraduate. Yeah? Uh, I do mentoring. Uh, I do academic advising. All the other things basically explain my role in detail, isn't it? Right? Okay. So here, Rabbul Alam. So now, then how do we define it? Rab is such, uh, what is it called? Uh, hmm? uh, you know, I don't want to call it attribute, effectively. Uh, I, I, you know, uh, Rob is such an entity, yeah, who gives you anything that he chooses to give you before even you ask him for it. All right? Say, for example, he created us before even we... We asked for it, isn't it? He gave us the, you know, the لَقَدْ خَلَقْنَ الْإِنسَانَ فِي أَحْسَنِ تَقْوِيمِ The verily we created the human beings in the best of the structure or stature, isn't it? So, did we ask for it? You know, like, the one who gives you whatever you need and whatever is best for you. Even without you asking for it. Is it getting clear? Yeah? Any questions? Do you think... Is it clear? Yeah? Say, for example, He has put our nose exactly at the place where it is best suited to. Think about this nose. <laughs> Somebody was <laughs> making a joke the other day and it was so funny that if he had put this nose under your, <laughs> what is it called? Armpit. Armpit. Yeah. What would happen? You know, anything you want to smell, you will have to take it there. <laughs> it would be so <laughs> odd, isn't it? Mm -hmm. See, think about anything, you know, like the, the ears, yeah? Even uh, the eyes. If Allah had put the eyes in here, Would we be able to walk? We wouldn't, isn't it? So exactly, 
the one and and that's why he's called the rabb the one who gives whatever is needed in their best place yeah so in order to do that and and at the same time he has got not only he's got the desire but also he has got the ability and the capacity isn't it yeah he doesn't have to you know look for it somewhere else or ask for it to somebody else he himself can do it isn't it okay now this rabbul alamin uh that in order to do it how what attribute he should have is coming ar rahman ar 